So we're getting close to the end of these lessons for now. And on this lesson, I'd like to talk about the chromatic scale, the scale I just played for you. I just played all the notes on the alto saxophone, from the bottom all the way up to the top and back down, everything in between, all the sharps, all the flats, everything. And now you've learned quite a few notes up to this point. I'd like to teach you the rest of the notes within the octave that we've already learned, just so you can walk away with a chromatic scale. Now remember, any of these notes that you don't know, that you feel like it might be hard to remember them all, you can use a fingering chart and learn these notes and work on them, along with the exercises that we provide for you. So let me slowly play this, this scale again. I'm going to play it one octave starting on our low G and we'll go up to the high G. So here it goes. Now, that had every note, every note a half step apart. Now, if you looked at a piano, that would be all the white keys and the black keys, one after the other. I'm going to play this for you again one more time slowly, and then I'll teach you each note that you don't know yet. Now, we're starting on our low G, which you know. And then we're going to go to a new note, a G sharp. Now, when we first started talking about the saxophone, we talked about that left pinky. We haven't used it yet, but now we're going to use it. We're going to use it on the very top key. Press that key open. That's a G sharp. Okay, G sharp going up from G to G sharp, the name of that note. Next note is A. You know that one. Now our next chromatic note is a B flat. There are a few different ways to play this B flat, but for right now, we'll play it with our side key. By the way, this note can also be called A sharp. In ascending chromatic scale, typically we would call it A sharp, but it's more commonly known as B flat. So I'll just refer to it for right now as a B flat. Okay, we use the side key in the right hand. This is a key we haven't seen yet. Put this key right down here on the side by our index finger. Okay, continuing along, the next note up is B. You know that note? We'll just move right along. C, that's another half step up. The next note, probably the easiest note on the saxophone, you haven't learned it yet, but it's very easy, probably you've already played it. C sharp. Nothing to put down at all, just open up all the keys, nothing. And then D. D, you already know, with the octave key. D sharp, or also called E flat. The pinky in the right hand. We haven't used that key yet either. But the top key down there, the top one, there's two keys. There's a low one and the upper one. We want to use the upper one. Press our pinky on that. That's a D sharp, also known as E flat. Continuing on, E. And then F natural. I think we haven't learned F natural either, but it's this first finger in the right hand and then the three in the top and the octave key. And now F sharp, as you know, middle finger, and then high G. So let's do this chromatic scale one more time. <laughs> So there you have it. That's the chromatic scale. It's a great scale because it has all the notes. It's basically the musical alphabet. If you know the chromatic scale really well up and down the saxophone, you have all the notes that you need to play any song you'd ever want to learn. So practice your chromatic scale, use your fingering chart, and you'll be good to go.